Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Shadi Arafij. I'm a board certified veterinary surgeon. This video is part three of our Diseases of the Spleen series. I hope this video will add to your current understanding of this condition in dogs and allow you to make an informed decision regarding your pet's care. Always follow the recommendations of your veterinarian or a veterinary specialist closely. Today we'll be focusing on splenectomy aftercare in dogs. Please check the links below parts one and part two that describe what causes splenic tumors in dogs, splenic disease in general, and more specifics about the actual splenectomy surgery. Patients that undergo splenectomy are hospitalized for at least 24 hours, with those who are sicker or in critical condition remaining in the hospital longer. Most pets can be hospitalized between two and four days. Their vitals are constantly monitored, with a special focus on blood pressure, red blood cell levels, and heart rhythms. They are maintained on intravenous fluid therapy, analgesics, and antibiotics. Canine patients can be discharged from the hospital when they are eating well, show normal vitals, and are comfortable. Patients that are discharged from the hospital after splenectomy will be sent home with an e-collar or one of those lampshades to prevent licking the incision, analgesic medication, antibiotics, and any other medications that are specific to the case, such as antiarrhythmic medication. And just as a reminder, an example of complications that can be seen after splenectomy, heart arrhythmias and anemia are probably two of the most common that I will see. Now biopsies are collected at the time of surgery, which usually includes spleen and liver. It may require up to 10 days for biopsy evaluation by the laboratory at which time the doctor will contact you with those results. The first recheck evaluation with the surgeon will usually occur between 10 and 14 days after the surgery, at which time the incision is evaluated. Any complications that have occurred, such as heart arrhythmias or anemia, can be evaluated for at that time, and any skin sutures or skin staples can be removed if the incision has healed. The biopsy results can be discussed at the recheck as well. Further recommendations are made based on those biopsy results. Now, unfortunately, the majority of dogs affected with splenic masses may be afflicted with malignancy or cancer. The most common cancer, and unfortunately the most aggressive type of cancer, is called hemangiosarcoma. The average survival with splenic hemangiosarcoma after surgery and without chemotherapy can range from less than two months to seven months. On average, dogs that receive surgery with chemotherapy carry a survival of nine to 12 months. There are, of course, dogs who have longevity that is far shorter or far longer than those averages, as every pet is different. These averages are also based on the specific cancer type. There are many other cancer types, each with their own prognoses. Because new medical research is constantly being published, it is prudent to consult with a board-certified veterinary oncologist if your dog has been diagnosed with cancer of the spleen to find out what the latest in treatment options and the latest survival times and responses are. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video adds to your current understanding of this condition in dogs. And please be sure to check the links below for the previous parts of our splenectomy series. Hopefully this video will help you make an informed decision of your pet. Always follow the recommendations of your veterinarian or veterinary specialist closely. Please show your support by subscribing, hitting that like button, and sharing this video with others. This is Dr. Shadia Rafage, and let's take care of our pets. Thank you.